Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Johnny Candido of Candido Training. Today's video is on the best home gym belt squat. Now, if you're like me, I didn't even know this existed a few months ago. But I won a competition, which you guys saw where I maxed out my conventional deadlift. And the prize was a lever attachment that you just throw onto your squat rack. Then all you need to do is buy a belt uh, from Amazon, a dip belt, attach it, then you're done. Boom, now you have a belt squat. So it's, it's a brilliantly simple idea and it's plate loaded. So when I won this, I wanted to make sure to check, is there anything that's similar to this already on the market? And there really isn't because the only alternative I found was on garage gym reviews. It was around 280 bucks and the range of motion was ass. Let's just be honest. But the video was really good. This is no shade to Cooper. He even said that he was just middle of the road on it. So this option is made by Koula Iron. So it's actually made by powerlifters and is a husband and wife operation, small business, you know, all that cool stuff that you'd like to support, you know, not just a faceless mega corporation, but the, all that matters is the value. Is it actually worth it? And it is because it is, it was $200 initially. Then I posted on Instagram and it was my most liked and shared post that I've ever had before any discount code, which is a, kind of a weird feeling given I've posted meat preps, lifetime PRs, and a belt squat gets more likes than all of that. But I think it is a sign of the times that people are interested in this type of thing, you know, obviously as home gyms rise up culturally during the lockdowns. So I talked to him about setting up a discount code after that post, and then we brought the price down $20 more. So now if you enter Candido 2020, it is $180 for what, in my opinion, is the best home gym belt squat available. By the way, they actually did not have a landing page or a URL that you could publicly share before my channel. So that's something that is cool, is obviously I am making money off this, so it's no service to humanity, but hopefully I'm able to bring something to the community that otherwise truly would not exist. Otherwise you had to message them privately. Actually, something else that is really cool is I'm training my 65 year old mom and we're able to use this to have gradients of loading because Initially, we tried to use the barbell squat and she was able to hit depth, but she was not able to come up. So we were not able to hit one rep, which obviously is a little bit limiting to have just a, an eccentric. But then we also tried to use goblet squats, which, you know, they're okay, but the upper back is the limiting factor, especially with someone who's untrained. Um, so you're not really able to train the legs. So using this, we're actually able to push her pretty hard. There you go, up! <laughs> also, for a few practical tips, if you do buy this, then what I recommend is you train with three sets to RP7 with no particular rep range in mind. This is because a lot of people far undershoot on belt squats, and as we established in the How to Coach Yourself video, the exact rep range actually doesn't matter when you're training with moderate or very high reps for hypertrophy. So a set of 10 to RP7, is just as valuable as a set of 30 to RP7. So then after that, let's say you get into a position where maybe I'm approaching, I'm getting somewhat close to using seven plates for around a set of 15 to 20. Now I might start looking into adding external load. So with this, the one thing that people have asked me is, are you concerned about that? And not really, because you can. what I'm just gonna do is buy elite FTS bands and just have the band set up with the rack. And then another option is I might buy 250 kilo plates because I, I might buy that just anyways for the deadlift to reduce rip, whip. And also if you're using pound plates, that's thicker than 25 kilo competition plates. And then 50 kilo plates are actually thinner than two 25 kilo plates. Finally, you guys know I take your trust very seriously. When I'm making a video, it is to make it the best on that topic. So I, I think this is the best on this topic and it is not just the promo code and all of that is I actually do have an alternative option if you do not want to buy anything and if you're willing to take risk because this is made out of wood. I'll, I've watched many videos on how to make your own home gym belt squat setup and most of them have a horrible range of motion, but this one was really good. This is the best one on the internet. It is made by a guy named Colton Phillips, who is a young power lifter. So without further ado, I'll let Colton take over. Hey guys, my name is Colton Phillips and I'd like to thank Johnny for this opportunity. Today I'm going to show you how to make my $15 belt squat setup. So let's get right. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. That's enough. This is my channel. And remember, it's Candido 2020. Link in the description. Of course, there's the video also by Colton Phillips. 
and it is a phenomenal video, like I said. And I overall recommend that you subscribe to this channel because I, personally, I find it very cool to see someone who's 10 years younger than me starting on their YouTube journey with powerlifting because uh, it, it reminds me a lot of myself since I started at around 17 to 18 years old. It's pretty surreal now being the old guy, but I love to see it. I love to see smaller channels. So just throw them some support and say I sent you. So that's it, guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who comes short again and again. Also, one last note is when you do use the discount code, it is at the very end. So first you start out on the landing page, you put five eighths of an inch is the size, then you put your financial information, then you put the discount code. It'll almost feel like you already submitted it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Better than a goblet squat, in my opinion. That's the point. But so you do you What is a goblet it? squat? I uh, have no yeah, idea. We did that earlier, but. <laughs>